I'm Catherine, I'm the lead for service user and carer involvement. I'm going to talk about the role of the nearest relative under the Mental Health Act. So the nearest relative is a really important role and it's different to a next of kin and it might be different to people that provide care for somebody. So a number of people may care for someone but the nearest relative is a specific role under the Mental Health Act and that's decided by a hierarchy and it might be somebody who's um, a spouse or a parent or a sibling. The approved mental health professional, or AMP as they're sometimes known, um, will decide who the nearest relative is. So they'll work through the hierarchy that's specified in the Mental Health Act. Um, and that might be somebody who's lived in a partnership for over six months or is a civil partner. So that does include same-sex relationships. So under Section 2, the nearest relative um, has a right to be informed of the application for Section 2 admission. Um, under Section 3, the nearest relative has a right to be consulted and they can actually object to the admission. Well, the nearest relative has a really crucial and important role in the Mental Health Act. So firstly, um, they have the right to request an assessment under the Mental Health Act for their relative. They have a right to information about their relative and the Mental Health Act and what's going on with the assessment. They've got a right to consultation under the Mental Health Act. They also actually have the right to apply for a discharge from the Mental Health Act and also um, a tribunal under the Mental Health Act. So what happens if the nearest relative and the service user don't have a positive relationship? Um, the, the AMP might decide that it's not in the best interests to contact the nearest relative um, for the well-being or the safety of the service user. And if that's the case, they'll have to document their justification for that. Um, the only way a nearest relative can be displaced is through a court process. Um, and a service user can apply for that or the AMP can apply for that if they have concerns about the nature of the relationship. The other thing to consider is if the AMP can't get in touch with the nearest relative, they will have to go ahead with the application, but they will have to document all the course of action they took to contact the nearest relative. In terms of carers or families and friends that are very significant to service users, um, just because they're not necessarily legally the nearest relative, it doesn't mean to say that we wouldn't um, talk to them and take their views into account with the service user's permission. So an example of that might be if there's a family where um, siblings are involved in caring for somebody, only the oldest sibling would be the nearest relative, but there might be other siblings that we would take their views into account if the service user wished us to. Um, the other um, example might be if parents are very involved with somebody, um, but the person's married. So again, with the service user's permission, we would take the parents' views into account as well.